Hey, hey guys. How's it going? Nice Good. background. Thanks. It's better than my bedroom because like you said, <laughs> my kids are on Zoom. So like I have to find a corner that's free in my house. <laughs> yeah, this, so. this is a virtual background of a boring middle-aged guy's <laughs> office. Uh, it's not in my real office. No, so, that's okay. fine. You should see all my geeky stuff, yeah. but my husband's in my office. So, anyways. I <laughs> well, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, you're describing my life. You're describing my life. So, yeah. So, it's so exciting to talk to you both. Um, Tom, you like literally have voiced my childhood, I'm sure, as, as a lot of people that are on this call right now. Um, <laughs> What is it like, you know, you made so many memories for me, like my sister and now my oh, kids, cool. like, what is it like, you know, you're still doing this character and you're still making, you're making memories now for a whole new generation. Yeah. And then Ethan, you're stepping into this role and also making memories for kids in a whole different way for SpongeBob. So what is that like for you guys? Well, I gotta say, you know, yeah, look, we're still making episodes. Like I'm, I'm on zoom doing spongebob recording or directing the other actors either or three three days a week you know you during even during pandemic so so spongebob is still a huge part of my life and it's been 20 some odd years like that and really uh you ask what it's like i mean i, I just look at it as this fantastic gift that it's not even like an opportunity uh, like it's more like a gift you know it's it's just a you know, to, to play a character that's so fun and that, uh, you know, that I have so much respect for the creator of and, and the, the co-workers that I work with on it and that, that it struck a chord multi, as it turns out, multi-generationally, uh, you know, it's just, wow, I, I, I'm in a really rarefied uh, 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 demographic, you know, like how many actors get to get to play a character for that long and still love it, like where it's not, it's not a burden. It's like, oh, I can't wait to not be playing this guy anymore. It's, I, you know, I love SpongeBob, you know, and it's, it's the, the length of time it's gone on feels like uh, bonus rounds on a game show. You know, like I, I, I feel like I keep uh, uh, winning more uh, washing machines, you know, it's great. So, uh, so yeah, so, so that's, that's how it feels to me. And then one thing, if I, before, before Ethan uh, comes in, it, it, it's one thing we always try to remember when we're making the shows is that the episode we're making right now after 20 years might might very well be somebody's first exposure to SpongeBob. Like it might be the first episode mm -hmm. some kid watches or somebody goes, you know, I never watched the show, but I tuned us in and it was pretty fun. And then I went back and watched all of them. And the Broadway show and Ethan's performance as SpongeBob is the first exposure to SpongeBob, like, like exposure for a lot of kid, uh, people that parents and kids alike that didn't see the cartoon before they saw the Broadway show. Uh, you know, the, I have talked to a lot of those people. So, you know, e Ethan's the, the on-ramp to SpongeBob for a, a lot of people as well. Yeah, it definitely feels like a slightly different scale, but um, the, you know, like, I think that, I mean, you know, he's sitting right here, so it's a little hard to talk about him as though he's not, but Tom's influence <laughs> is just like, so, oh yeah, great, thank you. <laughs> um, his influence is just like so huge and, and amazing um, as Spongebob, but just like as a voice of comedy. Um, I, and I think that that is like a really special thing to be in the orbit of, you know, and to be in his orbit. And so um, I feel really lucky to just be this close, you know, that's, it's a really, really amazing thing. And then I, I do think that there's, there's an element of being the on-ramp for SpongeBob for some people, but I think more so while we were running and now that we're, uh, you know, you can get the show on DVD and like that is an on-ramp for people to Broadway. Um, and I think that that's a really exciting thing that feels like, in some ways it feels like a big responsibility, but I also feel really proud of the work that we've done. So I feel really confident in it, you know, like it's a really Absolutely. cool way to, to bring people from the SpongeBob world into the Broadway world, which is a community that I think is really beautiful and thriving. Um, and so like to be a part of that crossover feels particularly special. Yeah. Ag agreed on all points, Ethan, man. It's, it's multiple on ramps. You're right. I mean, I mean, you know, this, like you said, on ramp to Broadway, that there's that aspect, uh, aspect as well. Yeah. The SpongeBob has been a cartoon. He's been movies. He's a blimp in the Macy's Thanksgiving day parade. Now he's <laughs> on stage. Where do you guys see SpongeBob going next? Well, the, 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 the SpongeBob, uh, uh, 
a 20 season chip that is implanted directly into your medulla uh, and plays <laughs> nonstop on a loop uh, uh, like, like a fun clockwork orange, like a clockwork pineapple is, is the, uh, is, it's, it's the next step. We're working on it. Got it. <laughs> How about you, Ethan? What, where does it go from here? Yeah, I mean, I think that's right. Like, we've already got the blimp. So I think the next step is a projector mounted on the moon so that it can be just above the cloud that's coming down. You can just be like, oh, I'm about to miss SpongeBob. Oh, no, like, just watch it above us. <laughs> yeah, like ozone layer. Um, I love it. A little porous. Love it. Yeah, love and it. The, uh, since the ozone layer is not there anymore, it gives us a little review. Right, so it's something that's good for the Earth. That's gone. <laughs> I like it. I like Speaking it. Speaking of which, Thank thanks for using sustainable bamboo in your uh, in your background. Oh, Boys you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. Very eco friendly. <laughs>